Welcome to another video of War for the Wild Side, and I'm down here in Lytham. Yes, just down the road from Blackpool, about 15 minutes. Bit of a world away though, it's rather posh here in Lytham. And I'm swanking it up again down here. I'm on Clifton Street, the main drag. I don't know if you can see this way. We've got Tree Line Street here, the main drag here in Lytham. It's very, very posh. Now, while I'm down, I've just been filming a video down here, and I thought, why don't I try some Lytham fish and chips? And they've got a rather famous, or should I say popular, fish and chip restaurant just down here, and it's called Whelan's. I first heard about it probably about 20 years ago, and I knew people from Manchester who said, yes, we actually come all the way from Manchester to go there, to Whelan's over there, so it must be pretty good. And I'll tell you something else, Gordon Ramsay's been there as well. Check it out, Clifton Street here in Lytham. Look at all the trees. They've got plenty of trees here in Lytham. Unlike Blackpool. Yeah. And you know, some of the locals are even moaning about these trees because um, they're actually digging up some of the pavements in some areas. And some of the locals are having a bit of a pop. This one's being dug up a bit here. But Whelan's is just over here just on the corner of Bannister Street. Check it out. Got seating indoors, obviously got a restaurant. I won't be using the restaurant. I'm gonna be using the takeaway. But yeah, this is Whelan's. Let's have a little look at the outside. So we've got a doorway for the restaurant and a doorway for the takeaway. I'm gonna be using the takeaway. Nice, are you, basket? Well, I said Gordon Ramsay had been here. Check it out, Rick Stein's been here as well. Oh, it must be good, mustn't it? What do you reckon? Time to check it out. Okay, so we're inside and we've got some awards here. First class fish and chips. Five star hygiene rating. Someone signed something from the... Here's a man, Gordon Ramsay. There he is with the staff. Quite a few years ago. Are any of those staff still here? There he is, the man. Okay, here are the prices. I'm going to go for regular haddock chips and peas at 10.65. You can also get a bargain small fish chips and mushy pea for £9.50. I don't think the prices are too bad for them. What do you reckon? Okay, check it out. I have got my fish and chips and mushy peas from Whelan's. Oh, the Blackpool, the Preston bus is here. Yeah, you can, hey, it's good travel routes, you know, Blackpool and Lytham, we're well connected down here. Now, I could have gone to the restaurant, it cost me £10.60 for regular fish, chips and mushy peas. I got myself a little fork and I'm going to eat them in the square. So, I'm probably going to bring the whole tone of Lytham down now by eating these outside. Some people have complained about my eating habits and they say, uh, <laughs> well, it's probably the way I was brought up. <laughs> I'm from Blackpool. But anyway, I'm going to eat these in the square. So let's see what the fish and chips are like from Whelan's. Some nice old buildings along here on Clifton Street. It's uh, usually very busy and it has been busy today as well yeah very popular lots of cafes and restaurants posh restaurants lots of independent shops as well lots of charity shops so i'm heading up towards the square it's around about tea time around about tea time on a saturday and we head up to the square now and we'll check out these fish and chips from Wheeland. I'll tell you what, it's looking pretty busy here at the square. Look at all these people sat out here outside this swanky restaurant called Deacon. Look at this, wow. I'm swanking it up with the high life here in Lydon now, aren't I? Yeah. Get ready for me to bring the tone down now. Oh, I need to find a seat somewhere, don't I? Oh, we're out of the sun. Oh. It's a little bit brisk today as well. So, where can I eat these? Can I eat them on there? 
They really know how to do planters here in Lytham, don't they? Anyway, I found this bench here, which looks a bit more suitable. It's got on it, it's got a plaque on it, donated by Lytham St Anne's Civic Society in appreciation of Graham Fallow's work for Lytham. There you go, so... <clears throat> Right, here we go. I'm having to lean down a bit here because I've got it on the wide angle and uh, I don't think I fit in if I'm up here. But anyway, let's see what we've got, shall we? Let's open these up. £10.60. Not the cheapest, of course. Uh, but what's the quality going to be like? Well, I'll tell you what, first impressions are... It's not the biggest, that's not the biggest uh, fish and chips portion I've ever had for, for that price. It's a nice looking fish though, you have to say. That's quite a nice looking fish. I've got a fork, I picked up a fork. So um, I got salt and vinegar on it, which might have been a bit of a mistake getting them to put their own salt and vinegar on it. You know, when I went to see news last month, I got them to put the salt and vinegar on and they put far too much on. So. I think I might have shot myself in the foot again there, but we'll see. Hopefully they haven't ruined it. Just trying to chips now. There's someone riding around on an electric bike here, right? <laughs> That's a nice atmosphere. Check it out, isn't it nice, this square? Lytham Square, yeah. It's a little bit cool in the shade, I have to say. But uh, we're not too bad. There's lots of people sat outside over there in the sunshine. But I'm having my fish and chips down here. We've gone for a point of view this time. Let's, let's, uh, we've had some of the chips. Let's dig into this uh, fish and see what this is like. It does look like a nice fish, I have to say. Um, let's try a bit of this, shall we? It's all breaking up on me. Mm. Nice. A very, very nice. Very, very nice fish. Didn't take long to get served either. It only took about five minutes or so. I wasn't in there very long. I almost forgot to film the uh, to film the prices. But uh, £10.60 for this. Um, yeah, you could do a whole lot better in Blackpool, I'm sure. But I don't think it's too bad, really. Let me know what you think. Um, the fish is actually quite nice. The chips are nice. They haven't overdone it on the salt and vinegar like seniors did, which is good. I'm just going to have another bit of fish. Let's hope I don't drop this all over the place because they do have seagulls here in Lytham. They have posh seagulls here in Lytham. Yes, very posh. Yes, let's try a bit more of this fish if I can not drop it. <laughs> Wheelings fish restaurant here in Lytham, yeah. Make a note if you come down here to, to Lytham. They also have a seniors as well. The seniors are, it's just over here actually, the seniors is just here, here by the square, yeah. So they've got quite a bit of competition, yeah. Okay, let's have a good look at this fish, shall we? Tell me what you think. Does that look like a good fish? Does to me. Not pretty good to me. I've been going a long time. Wheelands. They've got a bit of a name for themselves in Lytham. It's quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm over here and not eating over there with those people because they'd probably be looking at me funny, wouldn't they? <laughs> with my eating habits.
But I am liking this. I really am. I'm so glad they didn't ruin it by piling on the salt and vinegar because I made a bit of a mistake by saying I want salt and vinegar because normally I like to put it on myself if I get a chance because when I went to seniors I let them put the salt and vinegar on and it completely ruined it put far too much on I'll tell you what, it's not easy eating outside when you're one-handed when you're having to hold a camera at the same time. I hope I don't lose my camera in the mushy peas like I did when I did the Pappas fish and chips. <laughs> I put the camera straight into the mushy peas. But what do you think to those? What do you think? They look pretty good. Let's try them out, shall we? Before they go cold. Mushy peas. Mm. Yeah. They don't look like they've got any fake colouring either. The ones at Papa's, they looked a bit like they had colouring on them. You know, they were really, really green looking. These actually feel a bit more like they're fresh, you know, from the, from the field almost. Uh, they're all right. They just don't feel that mushy enough to me. You know, there's a lot of full peas in there. They're not as mushy. They're not the best mushy peas I've ever had. Um, they just don't feel quite mushy enough, if you know what I mean. So that's the mushy peas. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll tell you what, there's a proper swanky restaurant behind me. It's called Bosco. Looks like one of those places where... <laughs> oh, <I don't, laughs> could you imagine me eating in there? My goodness. You've just seen me eat the fish and chips here on the bench in the square. Um, I thought they were really, really nice. I don't give scores out of 10, by the way. As you know, it's more about the experience. £10.60 for fish, chips and mushy peas. And the fish and chips were really, really nice. They were really, really nice. I didn't really like the mushy peas, to be honest. I thought, I just didn't think they were mushy enough and that there wasn't a whole lot of taste to them, so I was a bit disappointed by the mushy peas. Um, <clears throat> but there you go, that was Whelan's Fish Restaurant here in Lidham. I'm swanking it up again, yes. I'm getting used to this, you know. I can get used to this, I can definitely get used to it. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments and if you want to visit, you make a note of it to come down here to live in Wheelands. they've also got seniors as well there's other chippies as well other chippies are available anyway i hope you like this video if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one